Now let's talk about who stands to lose the most if this attack is successful and if this precedent is allowed to stand. It is the rank and file members of our union and indeed of all unions who stand to lose the most. But it's our belief that the entire thing is unconstitutional and undemocratic. Uh, there is a great team of, of barristers and lawyers that are working on this, people that are concerned about what this means for, uh, for our country. I mean, essentially, uh, if they don't win this fight, um, you know, there is no point in having a legal justice system. Politicians will be able to make laws on a whim. Um, like any, any political party that's engaged in union bashing over the years uh, never survives. Uh, it's not a very smart political play. It's never worked for the Conservatives. And I'm really, really surprised that the Labor Party thought that it would work for them. But history will condemn this treachery and the truth will set all of us free.